Damn, girl. All right. You looking kind of a little spicy, you feel me? You ain't looking like a Rubik's Cube. What the fuck is that, bro? What the fuck at? Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Busted. I want to see you right now. Show. Coming at you guys with a brand new video. Uh, my eyes still a little bit messed up, so you know, we gotta have our little shades on. I can't get roasted too hard by you guys. I might have to go get some of these John Paul Gaultier sunglasses, to be honest. Like, I might have to make the recovery with some $500 shades, you feel me? Not really. I don't know, bro. They're kind of fire, but we're gonna talk about this entire drop. Um, John Paul Gaultier, Gaultier, like, I've heard so many pronunciations. I'm pretty sure it's like Gaultier because I know with Cartier, it's not actually Cartier, it's Cartier. Cartier. Dude, like it's some super French bouginess. Um, so I'm just gonna go with John Paul Gaultier. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong or offending you or triggering you. I don't know. I'm trying to do my best. I'm a Caucasian ass boy. Um, but let's begin talking about this drop list. Of course, uh, we have no retails as per usual. They're just doing me dirty, bro. Like I can't do accurate retail predictions with you guys if we don't have retail. So drop a subscription because I will be doing sort of a part two to this video with the full drop list. Hopefully we'll have retails. I don't want to have to pull up on my man's drops by Jay. And give him the yatter. <laughs> let's begin this video. Smash it like you guys enjoy. Pray for my busted ass eye and let's begin. I'm super hyped that I correctly predicted we're getting this collab this week. I would have looked like a dumbass if it was something else, but um, of course we didn't get the box logos right. Um, I didn't want to show any photos. I saw of leaks of the box logos because like I had a feeling they'd be way different from what the leaks were and that's exactly what it is. Like this is so far from what anyone could have ever thought this box logo would look like. It's almost like a meme in in my opinion like how funny off everyone was with this box logo I'm seeing photos of like floral prints on box logos or like the John Paul Gautier spell out and then we get these just like super offbeat homie looking like he got put in a microwave when he was like six years old Look at his lips. <laughs> with some like just messy handwriting but I'm a huge fan of it let's begin talking about this box logo it's hard to even call a box logo they're not even calling it a box logo on Supreme so I guess we should stop calling it that um, this is a cool design in my opinion it reminds me sort of like some Daniel Johnston like um, even like Basquiat like just some super bizarre art I love it like I personally am a huge fan uh, I guess the only thing I'd say I don't love is this spray painted Supreme logo if they had just done a regular Supreme logo I probably would have preferred that um, but I'm a huge fan I'm gonna let you guys know why why I'm a big fan of this. So first off, this white shirt, the colors are just gorgeous. I love the set of colors they chose. It reminds me a lot of the Comme des Garçons box logos we got. Blue colors with white with reds. Um, I just think this is such a nice design and colorway. Like this white shirt is a must acquire for me. Unfortunately, I'm guessing these white ones are gonna be going for more money than the black um, because we do have this red box logo. Uh, it just is more vibrant, pops better. I think the homie's face looks better. So I definitely think the white colorway is gonna be what everyone goes for. Should I go for white then? Like, probably not. I, I already know on drop day, I'm gonna end up going like last second. Let's just go for white and then I'll take an L. See the checkout was like 10 seconds slower on the black and hate myself for the rest of the season. So I have to make myself go for this black color. It's definitely like the safe color way to go for because I know for a fact more people will probably be going for the white color. Um, but let me know which one you guys prefer. Just let me know your opinion on this in general. So funny to me that like the leak people were super wrong on this one, like in a way, I guess. They were correct, it's a box logo, but this is not the box logo anyone envisioned. I'm personally not mad about it. I'm actually a big fan of this shirt, and the fact that it's not some like corny regular box logo might mean that I have more of a chance of copying. There's probably some dude out there right now, it's like, damn, I'm only gonna run 20 slots on my bot, not 50 now. So so hopefully someone like me can stumble their way into getting one of these. But let's begin to talk about some of these other items we're going to be getting. So next up is the sunglasses. And as you guys heard, I'm a fan of these. Like I might just have to go scoop, like shout out to Blueface. I doubt I'm actually going to buy these. The retails are going to be super expensive on pretty much everything in this release. Expect like several hundred dollar retails, maybe even up to the thousands with some of these other goods, but we'll get to that. Um, so on the sunglasses, the actual design on these is so fire, like I just love these they're almost very similar to the model I'm wearing right now um, we have nice little gold frames on one pair and then the silver on the other 
Um, just, mm, I am loving these, bro. Like, I don't know what to say about them. I absolutely love them. They remind me of some Cartier or Cartier uh, sunglasses. Please do let me know which is correct, bro. Like, if you look up a video on YouTube, it'll tell you Cartier, but then everyone says Cartier. Um, so, I don't even know, like, what to say, bro, about these pronunciations. I'm just young mispronunciation, I guess. Um, so, next up, we have these fragrances. <laughs> I mean, they know y'all smelly. Like, these kids must be in their basements, like, 24 hours getting their bots set up. They must smell bad so like we gotta bless them with some little this will definitely help break up some of the sweat molecules and the box logos y'all be wearing a hundred times in a row before you watch them um no more jokes though i know hype bees don't even smell bad like my fans when i meet y'all be smelling crisp so um i know my fans don't need these probably some greasy or youtubers fans need these um they're probably gonna smell fire to be honest i don't know like i've never bought any jpg cologne i know they do fragrances way more now they kind of stop doing clothes to focus on fragrances Fragrances, so I would imagine these are gonna be crazy nice like they're probably gonna smell so fire I wish I could somehow smell this because I feel like I'm never gonna smell this cologne my entire life um, I doubt I'll buy one of these but like you never know bro like I could just I uh, probably not there's gonna be a lot of money um, I don't think I'm gonna buy one but let's move on to the hooded floral just crazy sweatshirts bro and these I'm like low-key kind of rocking with I'm not even gonna lie um, I was kind of clowning floral prints and stuff on shoes at least with the um, chukkas that we're getting but I'm not even mad on these bro these are kind of fire we got these this crazy all over floral print I think they actually did a really good job on these floral prints like you can make floral look kind of corny like some of the Gucci shit I see this floral makes me cringe yeah! This is kind of fire, bro. Like, I'm not even mad on this shit. The colorways they chose, this black might be my favorite. It almost looks like it's bleached or something. Like, it doesn't even look like flowers, which I think is dope. I really would like to get one of these, but at the same time, they're going to be so expensive, you guys. I'm guessing these aren't printed on Supreme Blanks. It doesn't look like that. I mean, I can't even tell. It looks like a collab tag, so I don't know what these are printed on. If it's printed on a Supreme Blank, it's going to be a lot cheaper, but I just have a feeling these are going to be expensive. You got these huge flow of patterns. I don't know if there's any branding anywhere. Like, I'm not seeing any. Maybe on the back. It looks like we got something up on the hood. This black color, though, like, oh, even this grayish, like, I just love these. I feel like these are actually printed on supreme blank so they might not be that expensive i can kind of just tell off the drawstrings these look like supreme blank so hopefully they won't be too expensive next up's the belt fire your boy needs a belt like my fucking waist be on broke mode but this is not the belt for me like this is too gaudy just out there of a belt i'm not that type of person to have like a super loud belt um but let's continue i probably pass on the belt it's not really for me and i think these are super super sick dude these are so wild so we have these reversible ma1 jackets which is like those flight jackets you see with like alpha industries however we have this dope ass logo on the inside slash outside because these are reversible you can have this little backpack it looks like it takes bro that's crazy it looks like you can take off this backpack um and then like re-put it back in that's great like that's so nice i really like clothing items where you can like take off a piece of it or add it back um it just gives the item more diversity there's more you can do with it and you never see people like building in shit like this onto a jacket that's just such a cool idea to me just adding pockets for the fuck of it but this is a whole bag like that's a flex bro i'm super hyped on these um i don't know if i'd buy one but like Oh, I'm rocking with these, bro. Like, I think these are super dope. I'm not into the gray color, but that black is so clean, bro. I'm not going to lie. The brown's pretty nice, too. It's got the little um, Gaultier Supreme logo up here. Super fire. I'm a huge fan of these. I'm so hyped. Low key, I think this drop is looking crazy, bro. Like, I'm so hyped. Um, next up, we have the Floral Print Era Pro. So, I was talking about these being in this release for my video yesterday, and I didn't see a photo of them. So, this is my first time looking at them. I low key just got a new pair of vans, these 666 ones. Um, one of my favorite Supreme vans they've done recently. I've actually been buying a lot of Supreme vans. I got like the Campbell's Soup ones, I got those like Skull ones. So, I've low key been upping on my Supreme. Supreme Vans even though I top down on Vans but these are not for me I don't like floral shit on my shoes so I'm definitely not gonna be acquiring them shits I'm just like they're not for me at all bro um, I don't like black shoes too much either even though I'm wearing some right now these are just too dark for me too weird next up is the plaid faux fur coat and so we have this logo on the inside again I love this white colorway by the way I'd only seen this one the white though is fire my dude Sanchito rocked this shit in the photos they posted shout out Sanchito one more time that was so sick to see him like doing actual previews for Supreme now. Man's coming up. 
This is a dope design though. Like for the bougie people, this is so fire. I can't even, like there's no reason for me to own this. I would never need a faux fur coat in Seattle, but like it's a huge flex if you cop one. They're gonna be over a rack probably. Next up, the flower rayon shirt. These are kind of crazy, bro. Like, damn, these are wild. So I'm not even too bent over these. Like, ooh, bro, the more I look at these, these are nice as hell. Like for the summertime, I'm like, the ladies are gonna be feeling these first off. I'm just saying like girls love flowers and I, are these some flowers? <laughs> probably not, bro. I don't even know my flowers for shit. I could promise you a girl would say like, oh, I like your shirt. If you rock this to like a little day party or something, like with the keg, you know what I'm saying? Sipping out the solo cup, shoddy peeps you in that negative vision flower joint. She like, shit, and you just sip on that cup. You're like, oh, what up, babe? Like, what's happening? Pull out the chain on her and it's over. You see, like, that's just how you do it. That's how you finesse with Supreme. I might have to make a video of how to get girls with Supreme. Um, but low key, if there was like a list of items that girls will like that are Supreme, this would be on it. I could promise you girls would be complimenting you if you cop this shit. Fire. And I'm guessing the backside will be blank, kind of on some CDG shit. I'm rocking with this, bro. I think those are super sick for like a summertime shirt. I'm a huge fan. I love both colorways. They killed it on these. Um, so far this collab is looking dope, bro. You came in front with me. This shit's kind of fire. I'm liking it. Like, I'm sure I'll see the retails and be like, huh, like psych, but like for now, I'm enjoying everything. Um, I probably wouldn't buy these, but it's crazy to me. They made some cargo suit pants. Like, that's so funny. They're just adding cargo pockets to everything now. Like, that's the wave. Um, I'm supposed to have some Jacob Wallace cargo pants coming in for a video, but boy's taking a little bit on that shipping, you feel me? So, we're gonna have to wait on that one. Next up, Whew, I could have waited on these, bro. The Chuck Pros, chuck these in the trash, like just awful. They're low key, like not as bad as I thought. This red color is kind of nice. Like these aren't that bad. Like for the Chuck Pro model, they usually look awful, but these don't look that bad. Um, but I would not buy them. Let me know if you guys like these shoes or not. I'm kind of curious. Next up is the pinstripe cargo suit vest. <laughs> like, I don't even know, bro. This shit's getting a little too bizarre for me. I would not be rocking this, um, but I think it's cool. Like, I don't know. I don't think it's ugly. It's a cool little like it looks like a tactical vest like that's so wild but not for me um now we have these f racism like i can't begin demonetized you feel me so like i gotta be on my pg shit these are kind of nice um i do believe this is like a vintage john paul gautier uh logo or design so that's interesting i probably wouldn't cop for myself but i low-key like it i think it's a cool design retail is gonna be way too much money um it's just a blazer no one's gonna be copping this like there's gonna be that one dude that goes to prom in the straight john paul gautier whole suit and like he's gonna be like getting laid that night that's all i'm saying but um the kind of fire um for like a suit jacket like a whole suit like fit these are pretty cool pieces but the retail is gonna be crazy uh next up the leather holster this is for my freaky deekies like if you're just trying to get down and dirty with your like dominatrix wife then maybe go cop this this shit i've heard is gonna be over a rack retail it's leather so it probably will be hella money i didn't realize it's scott leather so yeah guap on this one super sick though like a rapper can make this shit look crazy it'd go off but not for me i'm not purchasing finally these floral print sweatpants and these are mad corny bro i already know these are gonna sit on the website these are so ugly like Oh my god, bro. Who wants to buy some like designer sweatpants with fat ass flowers going all over? Like it looks sick on the shoes even, but on the sweatpants, it's a no-go. Like these look terrible on the sweatpants. Hell no. Um, we're gonna end it with the F racism jeans. And yeah, these shit's mad weird, bro. Like yeah, I don't even know. I would not be rocking these. I don't think they're... Uh, Alright, when I see homie, like, looking like this, bro, it's a wrap. Like, I'm sorry. The shirtless biddies, like, we chilling. Like, I'm not even tripping. But then we got homie with this face, like, busting it out. Like, I'm chill, bro. I'm so good off this design. Um, I try to give it a chance and be like, oh, it's not that bad. But, like, after I see homie making those faces, it's over. It's a wrap. Um, so, that's the whole drop list. Let me know your guys' favorite items. These tees are... Um, the hoodies, she uh, like low key. The fragrances probably smell fi. The glasses are really nice. These jackets are one of my favorite items. They're so sick. Like that's so different from anything I'll see Supreme doing usually. Uh, and that's about it. The floral rayon shirts are dope, like super sick, perfect summertime item. Um, these are a good flex for somebody that's not me. And yeah, like I think this is a cool ass collab. It's definitely not for like the normal Supreme fan. So basically all the kids that like flip tees on StockX for $10 profit, you're probably not gonna be going for a lot of this shit. You'll probably go for a tee. You'll probably carjack my ass and I'm gonna have beef with you. So um, let's just say everyone go for the fragrances cause y'all stank. 
I need these tees. I definitely need that white color. I'm not even gonna go for it, I don't think, because like, I'm gonna take an L, but fuck, bro. That white colorway t-shirt, I am in love with. I think it's such a cool concept. I, I just love it, bro. Reminds me of some graffiti shit. I'm a huge fan. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what you guys think of this collab in general. I'm super curious to hear your opinions. It's time for me to ship my espresso by my lonely and edit this joint. Um, it's coming out a little late, so shout out to my late night soldiers that are watching this. Um, shout out my bus to die one more time. This shit's got me fucked up. I almost shot the video without the sunglasses, and then I like looked at myself and I was like, ah, bro, I'm gonna get roasted. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.